Hello everyone, I'm your level gravity and I'm going to quickly review Nightmare Before Christmas. So it is Christmas and what better way to start this holiday by looking at one of the most popular and beloved Christmas specials of all time. And finally I have the chance to sell my thoughts of this movie to you guys. This is a movie that I wanted to talk about for a very, very long time. So what's the story of this movie? Oh, who the hell am I kidding? Pretty much every single one of you know the story of this movie. But I will tell the story anyway. So it's about a skeleton named Jack who got bored of his holiday which he's been doing for years and he wanted to try something new not until when he's fight four doors that lead to some other holidays and one of them lead him to Christmas after he witnessed this amazing discovery he decided to take over Christmas and become the new Santa Claus and we see how well that turned out and the rest of the movie is shenanigans and a race against time for our Jack fix the mess he made so they can go back to normal and learn a very important lesson well, let's just start off with the animation. Not only is the best animation I have ever seen, but it's the best stop motion animation I have ever seen. The amount of detail to the character design, the backgrounds, the movements, and everything else, it's beautiful and unbelievably impressive, and it still holds up to this day. Next is the soundtrack and the songs. And may I talk about a movie that is also one of the best musicals of all time. This is Halloween. What's this? Kidnap Santa Claus and so many more. These are songs that hold up even to this day. And now let's talk about the characters. Every single one of them is interesting and likable. Especially with the main character Jack, you can understand and relate to his struggles and his boredom by doing the same thing again and again and trying to do something new. Which to be fair, which pretty much every single one of us can be bored by something we've been doing every single day. And I personally as a kid, can I relate to that? But when he comes Santa Claus, you are a little angry at him for doing some pretty stupid things. But at the end of the film, he learns his lesson and you feel satisfied for his actions. To fix his mistakes so everything can go back, back to normal. And his relationship with his girlfriend Sally felt natural. And I truly buy it that these two are lovers and they care for each other. The story was well written, the writing was perfect, so pretty much almost everything was great about this movie. So do I have any issues? The only major issue that I have with this movie is it can be a little slow sometimes and there will be scenes that drag off for way too long. And the other issue that I have with this movie is an extremely huge nitpicking but I personally think that Santa Claus was kind of a joke here which can't be understandable. But overall even with these small issues I have still have a blast with this movie, and I still watch this movie every Christmas and every Halloween. Which brings the question if this is a Halloween movie or a Christmas movie. But whatever, who cares. So I'm gonna give this movie a 9 out of 10. It's been called a classic for a reason. Thank you for watching, I'm your Nervo and I'll see you next time.